Welcome to Singapore Junior Physics Olympiad 2012 with general round question 10. Equal but opposite charges Q are placed on the plates of an airfield parallel plate capacitor. The plates are then pulled apart to twice their original separation. Which of the following statements about this capacitor are true? The options are 1. The energy stored in the capacitor is doubled. 2. The electric field between the plates has increased. 3. The potential difference across the plates has doubled. And 4. The capacitance has doubled. So let's start by reviewing each of these options one by one. So for the first option, the energy stored in the capacitor is doubled. So we know that the equation for the energy of the capacitor is equal to half Q squared over C, where Q is a charge stored in the capacitor and C is the capacitance itself. And we know that C can be written as epsilon naught A over D, where epsilon naught is a constant. A is the cross-sectional area of the parallel plate capacitor. And D is a separation between the two plates, making up the capacitor. So substituting this expression of capacitance into the energy equation, we get this equation. So from here, you can see that the energy of the capacitor U is directly proportional to the separation between the plates D. And since, as given in the question, the separation is doubled, the energy stock in the capacitor is doubled. Therefore, this statement is correct. For the next option, the electric field between the plates has increased. So now the formula for electric field of a parallel plate capacitor is as shown here, QOA, where Q is the charge stored and A is a cross-sectional area of the capacitor. And as you can see from this formula, the electric field does not depend on the separation of the plates. Therefore, the electric field remains constant. So this statement is false. For the next statement, the potential difference across the plates has doubled. We know that the potential difference is equal to the electric field multiplied by the separation between the parallel plates cap capacitor. And since electric field remains constant and the separation is doubled, the potential difference across the plates is then doubled. Hence, this statement is correct. For the last statement, the capacitor has doubled. We can again go back to this formula here. And we can see that the capacitance is in fact inversely proportional to the separation. Therefore, when the separation is, separation is doubled, the capacitance is half. So this statement is false. So the correct statements are statements 1 and 3. Therefore, the answer to these questions is B, 1 and 3 only.